Evil was a thousand. This year at Evil was two thousand. I hope that they don't have to release another game to make next year four thousand. But you know, but I only see it getting up from here. I mean, the videos keep getting more and more popular. More people watching the stream every time there's a tournament. It should, you know, it should be going up. We should have a bigger player base to draw from. The prize money should get bigger, and then it should be more possible to be a pro gamer. And your thoughts about uh, Super Street Fighter Arcade? That's coming out with new characters. What are your thoughts on that? Is Arizona going to have an arcade with the arcade version of Super? More than likely, uh, we have a GameWorks. Yeah, we have one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, all I'm saying is if Karen is in that game, I'm switching mains. Well, from what I heard from um, the Replay Magazine, that GameWorks went under. They filed for bankruptcy already. Uh, ooh. If, uh, if they have, I haven't heard of it. Uh, our ga are the GameWorks in our area seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, if they went under, though, we wouldn't have it. I don't know. Well, that's from my latest scoop that uh, there's two franchises. It's ESPN Zone and GameWorks have been sold off. And there's only a few of them left. Maybe one of them left in Arizona is the w rare ones. But back onto the topic of Street Fighter. Who do you think is your rival here today? Everyone. <laughs> but you do pretty well against uh, most of them. Yeah. The East Coast strong players like like Rico, Yais. Yeah. And you feel very comfortable against them. But some of them but like like Chaos, like like Ryder, pretty know able really well because we practice him in a lot. Yeah. So how do you think about mm, general East Coast? Uh I mean uh I haven't really come out here before. This is my first uh, time coming out here since being competitive. I've played a handful of everyone in casuals. Um, I think the skill level is about the same on the West Coast. West Coast happens to have a few more players. Yes, that's, that's a very nice official answer over here. It is, that's pretty good. It's pretty good like, over here. Uh, so yeah, I said about the same. Yeah, I know. You said about the same, right. So what do you say to the ISC Stream Monster who have been like complaining about Juice bus, blah blah blah. So, what are you gonna say to the uh, stream masters? If, if people are gonna complain about me doing my dance or playing able, you know, it's like I always say, haters gonna hate. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. If you wanna hate, go ahead. But you know, it doesn't so matter. could I say because you're uh, out of like reaction on the live stream and make the company actually like focus on you and actually sign you on the on this company BL Gaming? Yeah. Is it something like this? Because your like performance in, in the stream, like doing a lot of like crazy stuff. Well, I mean, it, it's not so much a performance. What it is is when I'm when I'm focusing. I'm not autistic. You heard it here, folks. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, it, when I'm focusing, like I'm full of energy, extra energy. If I get 10 seconds to myself, I'm gonna let it out. You know, I mean, there's that whole Street Fighter 2 thing. When you were a kid, you saw Ryu go Hadouken, and you you put your hands together, and you're like, maybe I can do it. It's really the same thing. So that means normally when you're playing games, are like you feeling yourself? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to say, what are your predictions for top three today? Top three. <sighs> Hi, not you. No. Um. <laughs> Uh, me, Justin Wong, somebody else. Okay. So actually, Juice Plus have mad confidence to taking top three on the his first East Coast major. Of course. Okay. But when you say you probably able to beat Justin, well, I'll tell you, Rufus is the toughest matchup. But I think I'm like. Here's the thing. It's like what makes you a good master of your character is the ability to play the bad matchups. Studying the Rufus matchup has been my fucking goal. Since losing to Flo at Evo, I mean, just Rufus in general just pisses me off. But, you know, uh, I don't think I would have much Street Fighter skill if I just counterpicked and just, you know. But well, you play. know that, like, no matter East Coast or West Coast, like, you want to take top three. One character, maybe just for exactly. Justin Wong, exactly. not any other no, any other uh, players. Now, I won't say, I've never said that I won't counterpick. It hasn't been, you know, an option in the past because I've th always thought of myself as a character specialist. But, you know, the more I lose to Rufus, the more I play the matches, the more it's like, you know what, the only way for me to do this is to take tremendous risk. I'm not a risky player. So, you know, counterpicking is something that I have been thinking about. Um, and so, 
Whether I mean, you want to. I do it is gonna depend on how that first game goes. Yes, because you want to take the money back. You don't want to take the pride back. So, no. so pride you want to take. Yeah, yeah. You want to take the money back. You need counter pick, right, Henry? Yes, yes, yes. In the East Coast, we don't care about pride. We, we want don't care about pride. We money. care about money. Okay? Yes. So yeah, there's a bow for we the interview money. for Juice Box. So once again, uh, show a T-shirt to everybody. BL Gaming, a very nice T-shirt. It's a black T-shirt with some um, play uh, to win or don't play at all. Yes, blgaming.com. BL Gaming. Check it out. Yes, Thanks check out for the interview for Juice Box. Uh, I'm gonna be posting weekly content, very likely every Wednesday on the site. It's gonna a lot of it's gonna be beginner oriented. If you want to learn the game, you'll probably want to visit the website pretty soon. I'm gonna start off with an article on how to enter the competitive scene. And very likely, I'm going to have an Ask Juice Box column. If you have any questions about Street Fighter 4, I'm super serious. Email a question to juiceboxable at gmail.com. You might show up in the column. All right, juiceboxable at gmail.com. That's all you need. So, so you, you, heard you, it you don't care about people hate on you, right, Ju Juice Box? Why would I give a crap? No. Okay. <laughs> See? Juice Box doesn't give a fuck, all right? So stay salty, stream monster, and can keep me mad shit talk on the live stream. Okay, thanks for the uh, interview by Juicebox. Yes, and we'll be back to the gaming commentary as soon as it starts. Which uh, should be soon. It's going to be start soon, though, yes. Hopefully very soon. Oh, it's just casual. Yeah. yeah. Remember, you can send donations to Team Spooky at their website. Absolutely. That's right. And because uh, Team Spooky is actually all doing a lot of like hard work, non-profit work, non-profit non work. work. That's right. You should do a lot of um, Team Spooky even one do one dollar help. Someone's calling me for my ST match, so I I'm gonna go play it and be back later. Yeah, so Chris is gonna be keep talking on the live stream. Shout out to T Buff on the live stream, no matter what. So, yes, that's pretty uh, 